I pledge to the Bitcoin community that the day I take the oath of office, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris's anti-crypto crusade will be over. It will end. It'll be done. It'll be done. On day one, I will fire Gary Gensler and appoint a new SEC chairman. Gary Gensler is getting fired. Obviously, the election is not over, but it's looking a lot like Trump is going to win. All right, and he has already declared and had a speech uh, saying that he's going to win. But we all do know that, uh, yeah, these guys can commit a lot of election fraud, so anything is possible. But I believe that if they did so now, they would get caught very, very easily, right? So, uh, yeah, we're going to say Trump has won this, and the charts do reflect that. Uh, we can see we did have a massive... 5k pump here from about 70k all the way up as this election started we saw these states turning red and we did say this in yesterday's video we said yes every time there's a red state come through we are going to see the massive pump arenas and we did get that okay and now that victory has been declared now the us is beginning to sleep we are going to see that uh yes uh the market should be beginning to dump right uh, the important thing to look out for today if you are looking to trade this or if you're looking for that investment if you're looking for anything uh, in a way to make money from this right uh, the important thing to note here is uh, stock market open is going to be the real decider uh, whether we do see a massive pump or not right i am still on the side that we do dump here i believe that uh, we will see a big rage quit from the economy from a lot of the big holders out there i'm talking uh, blackrock this kind of stuff right uh, and uh, there will be a bit of a negative kind of narrative being made on the chart uh, based on Trump's victory. It just makes sense for that, all right? Uh, <coughs> but uh, I'm also not completely uh, not completely biased here, right? I do think that uh, we could actually smash through as well. And if we do smash through as well, one sign that we want to be looking at right here is this daily volume weighted ATR band, right? So this is the range set out over many, many days, okay? So we have the bottom side of the range here, okay, at 48K, and the top side of the range here at 75.8, right? So what we're going to be saying here with this is uh, if we get over that range, if we get out of that range, that is considered a breakout and that is something that is extremely bullish, okay? So what we're going to be trying to do here Hello. Yeah, cool. My mic is synced up. <laughs> what we're going to be doing here is looking to get over that first. Okay, retest that, break the high. And as I've been saying all week, guys, 78K is really the area you want to be looking at. And we get above 78K, uh, we're basically in the clear. We can run to 100K, right? Do I think that's going to happen today, though? Absolutely not. I think we do crash here. We just have a lot of resistances here from the other ranges coming through. So, uh, yeah, I think a crash here is very, very likely. Potentially come down, test 70 k again and then as the market kind of resets as we see the stock market uh, really give us some direction here on bitcoin then we can start turning around and start looking for a major pamperino right there are other indicators and variables that we should also be considering here okay one of them being that we did just get a new liquidation level come in from the market makers around uh, about 66.5 okay that is not out of the breach at all and uh, the other variables here are if we do get some more crazy people try to assassinate trump right uh, it's it's something that is entirely possible we have seen it before with u.s elections we have seen it before twice this year <laughs> okay so uh, there may be some crazy people out there that do actually go for this and uh, and if that is a case that could come into fruition then we have to consider it as a potential black swan event indicator or an indication right so if something like that does happen if there is an attack if there is any kind of uprising civil war narrative that comes through from the american media as well then what we can expect is probably a massive tank not just in traditional markets but a massive tank in uh in in bitcoin and crypto as well right so um We'll see how this goes. Obviously, the next few weeks are going to be incredibly volatile. But if we can actually break out from this and we can get some good, decent macro direction, then, of course, I am super bullish on that, right? After all this kind of dies down, we go sideways for a little bit. Yes, I do believe we just blast off from this point. But uh, as of right now, with Bitcoin, what I will say is that, yeah, we've had this massive pump up. It's what, like 8% pump here in six hours. It was ridiculous. Okay, we should be expecting some pullback here, a four-hour. 7 SMA is a great target here at 71.4. Okay, we've also got a lot of moving averages down at 70K as well. So 70K to 72K, 
should really be the initial target here while America is asleep. Uh, and then after that, what we need to do is just break this high. We break this high at 75, 76K. There will be a massive opportunity for longing that up to 80K, okay? Uh, and when I'm talking about the 78K zone though, in terms of buying, I'm really talking about daily closes above this area, right? So if we're closing dailies above 78K, this is really the key, okay? And then from that point, we look for that 20% trade up to the middle range here of our linear regressional growth curve okay logarithmic growth curve here uh, that literally plots the middle of the the wave here every single time we get lots of resolution around this point so if we do get above that then we go super parabolic but as of right now, I'm expecting to keep this as more of a take profit. For me, just under 100K, okay? So fantastic stuff there, all right? But besides that, yeah, looking pretty good across the board here, okay? Uh, I think a lot of people expected the, this result. Uh, for me personally, it doesn't affect me too much. I live in Thailand, but I will say that, uh, yeah, the markets are gonna be very, very interesting over the next six months. So do keep an eye out. There will be a lot of money to be made, lots of volatility, and volatility is good for making money as long as it's predictable okay so we've got to look out for these events we've got to look out for the ta uh, and we've got to look out for anything that can happen that will potentially drag bitcoin down or bring bitcoin up okay and we will be targeting uh, big waves based on momentum more than anything rather than looking at uh, and looking at patterns right if we're looking at patterns it's very hard to trade patterns with the news okay so uh, yeah unless we're in a pattern for a while we're consolidating for a while okay and then the news triggers us breaking out of that pattern what we're really going to be looking for is momentum trades and what that means is uh, is essentially when we do get some big news come through and we expect the dump or the pump to last for a while then we play the momentum on the smaller time frames off of the moving averages, right? So the 7 SMA on the hourly is a fantastic one. This is obviously the 15 minute uh, because the... Yeah, I mean, well, if, if the news is super uh, volume heavy, okay, then you look down to the 15 minute 7 SMA where you can kind of get an entry, uh, right? Uh, but... If it is a little bit less volume centric, then we can look at the hourly here. And we can actually see that the hourly did actually, uh, we closed under it, we've retested it, and now it's trying to reclaim it. Uh, typically with the hourly one, you would expect essentially a 1% move up from here. Okay, so what did we get? We didn't get that quite, uh, but a lower high here actually makes sense if we did get up to there, all right? But uh, yeah, overall, I'm expecting a bit of a dump down here just based on this clump of uh, volume weighted ATR bands. I'm expecting us to come down to 70K, uh, and that's pretty much my prediction here. So. Have a fantastic day, guys. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you think of this election and let me know, uh, I mean, if you if you predicted Trump winning, let me know because uh, for me, it was, it was I was pretty sure Trump would win, but you never know with the Dems how much they're going to kind of commit vote, voter fraud, all of this stuff, right? So <laughs> uh, I think they probably messed up one of their states uh, and yeah, it just didn't go their way. It was just an overwhelming tidal wave, as Elon puts it, right? Uh, and their, fo their voter fraud just couldn't keep up, okay? That's, that's basically what I think happened, but but um, yeah, nothing said and done yet. We will see how the next few weeks progress. But overall, it's looking like a Trump win, probably 99.9%. .9%, all right. Uh, but besides that, yeah, Bitcoin looking pretty good. That's going to be it from me. Have a fantastic day. Like the video and subscribe if you're new here. All right. Have a fantastic one. Cheers.